The boys' fans rejoice. The showrunners have announced the official title of its college spinoff series in a behind-the-scenes video with its cast. Die Hard fans already know that this will be the second spinoff series as The Boys Presents Diabolical is the first spinoff series based on the comics, which features eight animated episodes within the same universe. So sit back and relax as we discuss the name reveal and the official synopsis of the spinoff show. First and foremost, the name reveal. In a behind-the-scenes cast video, the creators reveal the official name of its college-themed spinoff series, Gen V. Executive producers on the planned spinoff series would include Michelle Fazekas and Tara Butter, who were behind the Aging Carter television series. There are many predictions about the show itself due to the spinoff's name being revealed, Gen V. The potent drug compound V, created by Va International and featured in The Boys, is referenced in the title. In The Boys' universe, it is the source of all soup's powers. Gen V might possibly take place in a vaught owned college campus, and based on the title, and it appears that this college will not only be hosting the next generation of superhumans, but also producing them. The second part of the term references Generation Z, the age group of college students who are now in attendance. It seems obvious that Gen V will keep satirizing current events, much like The Boys has done for the past three seasons. Secondly, superheroes in college? What could go wrong? The show's plot follows young adult superheroes as they experience the highs and lows of college life. After graduation, they compete with other students for the finest vodka contracts. Newcomers like Jazz Sinclair, Chance Perdomo, London Thor, Lizzie Broadway, and more will appear in the spinoff. Additionally, the spinoff series, which focuses on a younger set of characters, has been compared to Euphoria by recurring actor Patrick Schwarzenegger. Euphoria, but with students shooting up Compound V instead of other drugs. Up next, what does the cast have to say? Fans of the boys will be pleased to learn from the cast hints that Gen V will keep the same raunchy and violent tone of the boys. Schwarzenegger has admitted that he baffled him when he discussed his role in the show with his father, action legend Arnold Schwarzenegger. The actor stated in the behind-the-scenes clip that the spinoff will have the same intensity, humor, and grit fans love, in addition to having blood and blood everywhere. The highly regarded season 3 finale, which will eventually be followed by a season 4 of the show, aired just one week before the spinoff announcement. Although the release date of Gen V is not yet known, it seems like fans have a lot to look forward to, followed by the spinoff's inspiration. Eric Kripke the creator of The Boys, explains how Marvel's X-Men served as some of the inspiration for the upcoming college spinoff series, Gen V. The third season of The Boys, which follows the exploits of a band of vigilantes seeking to punish corrupt superheroes, just ended. Both viewers and critics gave the most recent season favorable reviews, praising the show's nuanced characters and shocking moments. The Boys spinoff Gen V, which was recently given the official title, started filming in May and is set to follow a bunch of superheroes during their college years. After The Boys, Boys Presents Diabolical, an animated anthology series set in the boys' world. Gen V serves as the show's second spinoff. It's anticipated that the second spinoff series will debut sometime in 2023. At the same time, most of the plot's details are unknown, so the spinoff is inspired by X-Men. In a recent interview, Kripke revealed that the G-Men from the comic book series The Boys, which is a clear spoof of Marvel's X-Men, will serve as some of the inspiration for Gen V. Like the G-Men, he continues that a portion of the show will be focused on on an educational academic experience. Kripke promises that Gen V will use the G-Men as a jumping off point before heading off in its original direction, just like the boys have eventually carved out its niche in the superhero parody genre. Fans are already aware that the boys have made no secret of the characters and ideals of its parodies. With Homelander portrayed by Anthony Starr as Superman and the Deep as Aquaman, Gen V appears to be carrying on this tradition. The G-Men are one of the three main superhero teams in the boys' comics, along with Payback and the both of which have been established in the show. While there are many unresolved questions regarding the planned spin-off series, there are already some outright parallels to the X-Men. Perhaps the most noteworthy of them is that it is set at a school resembling Charles Xavier's School for Gifted Children. Seems like the boys is going to give us X-Men before Marvel does. And lastly, the show will feature how young people abuse their powers. Additionally, it appears that Gen V is establishing a number of new evil characters and placing them in situations that further resemble what would happen if superheroes actually existed. The boys spinoff will likely depict what happens when a group of young and impressionable superpowered college students party and abuse their powers, taking the frequent arguments and fights among students at Xavier's school for gifted children to a whole new level. The degree to which the boys spinoff Gen V resembles the G-Men and the X-Men is still to be seen, but unfortunately, it seems that it will be some time before fans can watch the show themselves. And other related news, firstly, Kripke teases a crossover. Eric Kripke, the creator of the boys' 
discusses a potential crossover between the main series and its upcoming spin-off Gen V. The planned spin-off will be set in the same world as The Boys, and will continue to be influenced by the same comics that served as the inspiration for the main series. In an interview, Kripke discusses whether there will be any crossover episodes between the two shows. Although he claims that no characters from The Boys will appear in Gen V, the fact that the two shows are based in the same universe implies that certain characters might appear. He continues by saying that, like The Boys, which parodies many of the world's political and social issues, Gen V would also address problems affecting modern college students. Given that the superheroes in The Boys are global icons, it's possible that they might appear in the series as a part of the plot or as passing references to audiences within the universe. It's unlikely that the two will immediately include a direct crossover as The Boys Season 4 is still in the shooting process. However, it's still likely that a well-known soup such as Homelander or A-Train may visit the college to give a guest lecture or something like that. Or maybe Deep shows up as a teacher because of how smart he is. Up next, Season 3 finale sets up a tragic ending for Butcher. Becca was Butcher's true love and the mother of Ryan, whose pregnancy was caused by Homelander raping her. In the Season 2 conclusion, Becca begs Butcher to look after and protect Ryan before she passes away. However, Butcher makes the child vulnerable to Homelander by locking him away early in Season 3, which results in Ryan choosing Homelander as his father instead of Butcher. It's possible that he will probably never be able to move past this failure, which makes the prospect of his death, whether through this temp V usage or another cause, all the more depressing. What will happen to Butcher in Season 4 of The Boys is yet to be seen. After all, if he kills Ryan and develops a temp V-related psychosis, he could still turn into a villain. However, the Season 3 finale seems to imply that as he approaches the end of his life, he might take a more positive turn, but he will undoubtedly feel shitty about failing Becca and losing Ryan to Homelander for the rest of the season. And lastly, could Black Noir come back from the dead? According to showrunner Eric Kripke, there are currently no plans for the show to imitate the comics, which includes the twist the Black Noir is actually a clone of Homelander, resulting in resurrecting the character in that fashion. On the other hand, Kripke hinted that Black Noir's resurrection could not be entirely out of the question when asked whether he might return to the show in some capacity. He stated that they wanted to emphasize that not everyone will make it out alive in this world, where there are serious risks involved. There have certainly been discussions regarding Season 4, as it's full of hilarious dialogues about things like, well, if you murder Noir, you can recast him. He further added that he doesn't think that that's the last we've seen of Noir, and Nathan Mitchell, who portrays Black Noir. The exciting part is that he'll have to return in a completely different way. Seems like those weren't the last bits and pieces of Black Noir we've seen in The Boys. That's all for this video. What do you think about The Boys spin-off name reveal? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.